Uh, networks, I guess, felt they had no choice but to cut away from Donald Trump's mangled and scrambled, swollen, orange and sweaty press conference during which he claimed to have bigger crowds on the riots than Martin Luther King had during which he appeared to shoot a tonsil stone <laughs> out of his mouth and during which he said it's disrespectful for, <laughs> for Kamala Harris to have parents of different races and ethnicities. Networks started cutting away one hour into this absolutely abortive attempt at a press conference. CNN dumped it to start fact checking, which is quite a quite a tall task. I have to have that right. Uh, our Second Amendment is a very important right. And it has to be protected. Okay. All right, there's a lot to fact check there. So we're just <laughs> going to run through uh, things here. He said that yeah. Kamala Harris is in favor of uh, is not in favor of giving Israel weapons. She made it very clear her campaign did this morning that she is not in favor of an arms embargo of Israel. He said that no one died on January 6. People were killed. We know that Ashley Babbitt, three others died from medical emergencies. Uh, one officer died immediately after uh, having been pepper sprayed in, in the, the day following. There were four officers who died of suicide in the months after. He talked about how there's a constitutional issue for how uh, Kamala Harris was chosen by the Democratic <laughs> Party. That's not true. The Constitution doesn't govern how the party selects its candidates. Um, he also talked about uh, the border. He said 20 million people over the border. That's grossly exaggerated. He could have just gone with the actual number. It's not a great number. He chose 20 million. Uh, but actually, uh, crossings are down for the last four months, the lowest they've been in three years since the president. All right, you get the point. So CNN dumping and fact checking and then uh, MSNBC also cutting away. And it's it's just unbearable. Only Fox News could tolerate Federal Reserve or the chairman. Yeah. And so about an hour into this press conference <laughs> with Donald Trump, we are going to continue to listen and we'll let you know if any news is made here. But I think it's important, again, after giving him an hour to do some fact checks. And let's start with the fact that people were, were killed on January 6th. Two rioters were killed and, of course, yeah. several officers in the wake of that riot. Biden did not weaponize the DOJ against Donald Trump. Kamala Harris did pass the bar. She was the attorney general of California. He said she wants to take away people's guns. She just named a running mate who was a gun owner and a <laughs> hunter. She said Josh Shapiro, who was not named as her running mate, was not popular. In fact, he is, for as long as polls have been taken on favorability of Pennsylvania governors, the most popular governor ever in that state. But that that's not fair to Trump because he didn't know who Josh Shapiro was very clearly when he was asked about him. So listen, everybody sees what's going on. The network saw it. They gave the guy an hour plus at the end of the day, which is way more than he probably deserved. But maybe most importantly, Republicans are seeing what's going on. And that's what I want to talk about next. Right now, we are seeing candidates do whatever it takes to win your vote and how the media chooses to cover certain stories, if at all can completely shape your perspective of those candidates. But our sponsor Ground News is an awesome resource at a time like this. With their vantage plan, I get access to what's called their blind spot feed that shows me stories that can be easily missed. For instance, I'm looking here at Ground News summary about Trump distancing himself from Project 2025 amid its rising controversy, something we've been talking about. Ground News provides a great summary of the situation based on over 100 articles that Ground News found reporting on it. And Ground News shows me that almost no conservative news outlets are covering the story. Not a surprise. Ground News shows us that the right wing outlets only report on how Trump is denying involvement with the project, while the center and left outlets are actually giving context on Trump's connections to the movement of Project 2025. Every story comes with this visual breakdown of the political biases and ownership of the reporting news outlets, which is really important to know as well. Go to ground.news slash Pacman or scan my QR code for 40 percent off the same unlimited access vantage plan that I use.